Hi, this is Lisa Josepha Bashir from the British University in Dubai. This presentation is about the design of mathematical tasks for English learners. In this video, I will talk about the approaches for second language acquisition, examples of communicative language teaching, task-based language learning, the design of mathematical tasks for English learners, and the strengths and weaknesses of such design, and in the end, my references. Enjoy! Research into second language acquisition has been informed by two kinds of theories, the theories of language and the theories of learning. The theories of language focus on explaining what language is, how it is perceived, and how it is viewed while theories of learning aim to explain the psychological and social aspects of learning and language, the cognitive and psychological resources involved, and the social contexts and conditions that promote learning. Chomsky's 1959 cognitive view of language and language learning was a pivotal point in the area of linguistics and psycholinguistics, by seeing language as a unique and innate capacity of the human mind. However, a paramount advancement in approaches to second language teaching developed from the studies in sociolinguistics and the upwing of the concepts of communicative competence, which formed the development of the communicative language teaching. This is an approach to teaching language that focuses on the communicative aspects of language and sees language learning as a natural instead of an analytical acquisition with the language. According to Littlewood in 1981, the goal of learning is not to learn a language, however, to learn how to communicate. Communicative language teaching is a popular approach principled in the language teaching as communication, and it includes a variety of teaching methods and approaches such as task-based language teaching, content language integrated learning, and the sociocultural approach to language teaching. So in this presentation, I will further discuss task-based language teaching, which is according to Van den Branden in 2016, the most research and most popular approach under the umbrella of communicative language teaching. The most important aim of this approach of language teaching is not to get learners to demonstrate language knowledge or display mastery of grammatical rules, but to give them the opportunities to engage in meaning-oriented language use in the form of tasks. In 1996, Willis defines tasks as activities where the target language is used by the learner for a communicative purpose in order to achieve an outcome. Here are the criteria for such a task. Criteria one is primacy of meaning. So the learners should be primarily concerned with processing the language and understanding the text. For instance, listening to the news to extract the numerical information. Criteria two is information or communication gap. So there should be information that has to be communicated with others, like conveying information, expressing their opinion, or making a decision. To perform the task, learners need to use their linguistic knowledge, like vocabulary and sentence structure, but also non-linguistic resources, like their reasoning skills, numerical knowledge, and analytic ability. The fourth criteria for a task is that it should be comparable to activities learners engage with in real life. For instance, calculating and applying for a mortgage or finding the cost of a rental car over time, collecting and analyzing data, and so on. The last criteria is that the outcome, other than the use of language, is clearly expected. For instance, producing a graph using Excel. I teach mathematics in English to students whose first language is Arabic. Therefore, I want to focus on the design of mathematical tasks for English learners. Now, all students need to discuss mathematics to develop and deepen understanding. However, for English learners, 
peer dialogue is imperative and indispensable to conceptual understanding as they participate in mathematical practices and engage in sophisticated uses of language. An instructional design for English learners must foster quality peer interactions. Chu and Hamburg stated in 2019 that recent studies indicate two key actions in mathematical instruction for English learners. First, the importance of cultural and linguistic resources as they work on challenging mathematical tasks. Secondly, offering English learners explicitly supportive opportunities to engage in mathematical practices while having productive discourse with their peers. Chu and Hamburg developed a framework in 2019 to show the flow and connections between the components of an interactive task, especially to achieve the goals of a task, including both product and process, Participants will need to draw upon the information they are given under certain conditions and follow the structure that is provided for them to take turns in talking with one another. They begin with information, the elements within a task consisting of the data, representations, texts, or prompts given to students. For instance, the carefully selected parabolas that may elicit categories. Furthermore, within instructed settings, a task provides certain conditions for how students gain access to the information. They're identified as shared or split. In the shared condition, students are looking at the same thing, for instance, looking at the same parabola and describing what they see. In the split condition, Students are looking at different things and need to verbally explain what they see to make sense of what they have. For instance, looking at two different or three different or four different parabolas and then trying to decide how they are similar or how they are different. To reach its desired task goals, a task may include a well-defined structure or series of steps that students undertake as they complete a task together. Finally, central to any task are its goals, meaning what English learners will learn by completing that task. For example, the goal of a parabola sorting task is to understand which features of parabolas, such as graphs, matter. To attain this goal, according to one of the three curricula Chu and Hamburg in 2019 studied, students will need to create a product meaning a set of labels and classifying criteria, while engaging in a process, meaning looking at and describing graphical features. Designing a complete syllabus of mathematical tasks for English learners has strengths and weaknesses. It offers opportunities for natural learning inside the classroom. It also can be used alongside a more traditional approach Language that is produced arises from students' needs. Students are free of language control, and it is also student-centered, which allows for meaningful communication. Then the weaknesses are preparation of task-based learning lesson is very demanding. There's also little acquisition of new grammar or vocabulary and it requires resources beyond the textbooks. Not all students are motivated by the tasks, and it's not really suitable for beginners. Curriculum developers will need to work closely with classroom teachers to understand what other supports may be necessary. With a common framing, new categories of conditions and structure may be developed and empirically tested to accelerate the achievement of English learners in mathematics. Task-based language teaching, in particular, has shown success in developing learners' transactional competence. Keeping theories of second language acquisition in mind, 
educators can critically examine tasks and design considerations to expand communicative opportunities in mathematics for English learners. Here are the references for this presentation on design of mathematical tasks for English learners. And uh, I look forward to your feedback and thank you for your time.